So moving on from ribbon microphones, what are some of the other types of microphones that you might find or come across? Well, there's quite a few. Um, we have something called a shotgun microphone. This is really a highly directional microphone, meaning that it's it has a polar pattern where it picks up sound really, really clear from what you point it at, and it almost rejects the sounds from the sides. But we do have these sort of lobes where it picks up specific areas around the microphone. So you typically see a shotgun microphone used on um, broadcasting, movie sets, TV, film, or news reports. This is the type of microphone that you see on a boom. It's suspended above the actors, for example, and we can record some of the dialogue um, and the microphone sort of just off camera, pointing down. And you'll often see it with um, one of those big furry wind socks placed across it to sort of reject some of the sort of background sound, some of the wind. Another type of microphone, again really common in broadcasting, is the lapel microphone. This is a tiny, tiny condenser microphone that is often omnidirectional. It's a type of polar pattern. You put it in the center of the room. It's no preference to where the sound comes from. It's basically listening to everything within that space. So you see these on lapel microphones. They clip onto someone's shirt, maybe a news presenter, and they can talk facing the camera and the microphone picks up their speech. We said this at the beginning, we've got another type and that's called PZM microphones. This is pressure zone microphones. These are designed to use the amount of reverb when recording in a large room or place. So these microphones, they have a flat surface. You place them against um, a wall, the roof, um, a window, and they record the reflections, the sound wave reflections hitting from all the angles within that space. Another really common type of microphone is the wireless microphone. You've got the microphone itself and the actual transmitter and receiver. These are really common in live performances and work with this VHF, which is basically very high frequencies. And it can even use ultra high frequencies. So it transmits um, the actual signal that the microphone's picking up. So it transmits, once it's gone through the microphone, it's been turned into an electric signal. It's then transmitted to the receiver and it saves you having a wire running across the length of the stage, for example. Another really common type of microphone is that of the parabolic. So this is a microphone that's sort of encased with a sort of dome shell. Again, this is omnidirectional, so it's no preference to where the sound hits from. But what it allows you to do is it really focuses the sound source on one point. So you might see this type of microphone, for example, on the football pitch. And what it does is the guy standing, you know, 100 yards away from where the actual game is taking place. You can still hear some of the sort of foley sounds of the guy's sort of talking on the pitch you can hear the the hustle and the bustle of their clothes moving um, and that's all because it's really focused via this sort of radio telescopic um, parabolic microphone. Yeah.